a change of mind that wants to serve you, that wants to run to you and be all that they can be in you, Lord God. Help us to be real within ourselves, Jesus. Oh, Father God, because we're not real with ourselves. We can't be real with you, Lord. Help us to be honest and true in your sight, Lord God. Help us not to touch the unclean things, Lord God. Help us to turn from all of our wicked ways, Lord, and look to you, which cometh our help, Father. For you are our help. You are our help. You are our place of refuge, Lord. And we thank you, Jesus, for being that hiding place for us. We thank you for wrapping your loving arms around us, Lord, when we need to be comfort, Lord God. When things seem to be just so hard, Lord, but you're right there. You are our burden bearer. All we need to do is lift it up to you, Lord God. Give it to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Touch every mind and every heart that's under the sound of my voice, God. That they will let go and let you have your way in their life, Lord God. That they will examine themselves with a true heart and a true and upright spirit, Lord God. That they can do your will and not our will, Lord God. Help us to kill the flesh, Lord, and walk in the spirit. For you said we must walk by faith and not walk by sight. Because it's not our works that shall get us into the kingdom of heaven. But it's faith, Lord God. Give us that God kind of faith, Lord. That we can walk up right before you, Lord. That we can be that example in front of our unsaved loved ones. That when they see us, Lord, they will see you in us, living in us, working in us, Lord. That we can give us the give them that encouraging word, Lord. That's from your lips and not our hearts, Lord God. Touch minds and heart, Lord. Yes, Lord. Every burden, heart, every bowed down head, yes. every broken heart. For Father, there's nothing that you cannot do. Yes, Lord. All we have to do is look to you, which comes as our help. Because yes, you said if we call on you, Lord God, that you'll be right there. Yes. Oh God, you are our way. You have paved the path for us, Lord God. Help us to give us that made up mind to want to walk for you. For we will live and for you we will, we will die. In your son Jesus' name, I just give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor. Continue, Lord God, to abide in this house. Continue to bless our bishop. Continue to strengthen her. Continue to feed her, God, that she can come before your people and say what thus says the Lord. Yes. Open up our spiritual ears, God, that we may hear what your word is saying through her, through the vessel that you have chose to feed your people. And we thank you for her right now because there is none other like her, Lord God. And we bless you for her, Lord. We thank you for her. And we just give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor. Strengthen her right now as she comes before you to bring your word, because your word is already blessed. Open up our spiritual ears and hearts that we may hear and step at your feet. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 When we started, we ain't stopped. So this, was, so this is what I wrote. So it says, So God loves his people, his chosen people, which is Israel. Now Israel loved God as well. But they kept doing what they wanted to do, meaning not worshiping him, having false gods, sleeping with each other, men sleeping with men, and women sleeping with women. Just straight up sin. So God had to stop. Oh, God had to step back from them, not leave them, but just step back so they would realize how much they really needed him. So when they realized they really needed God, they stopped what they were doing asked for forgiveness, and God restored them and blessed them once again. Now this went on for many years, back and forth, back and forth. Now let's fast forward to 2016, I'm 2016. America is the Gentiles. We are God's people too. We are his adopted children. He loves us just as much as he loves Israel. But we have now become like Israel, sinful in his eyes. Trump is in office because God allowed Trump to be in office so that we can see that we need God. Once we repent from our sins and ask God's forgiveness, then he will once again restore us and bless us. This is all in God's plan. But we must cry out to him, and we will be faithful and just and he will be faithful and just to forgive us. God is God. He can he can take evil and turn it to good, just like he did Pharaoh. God can't bless us if we're not saved. So let's get saved. Amen. Amen. I give God the praise and the glory for all things. There's nothing too hard for God. Hey. Amen.
I said there's nothing too hard for God if we learn how to look to the hills from which cometh our help. Yeah. We're going to Exodus 8 and 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, said, Go unto Pharaoh, and say unto him, Thus said the Lord, Let my people go, that they may serve me. Hallelujah. My, 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 my thought today is one more night with the frog. One more night with the frog. God has that, that I did this sermon in 2008. Hallelujah. But again, I think you need to be reminded you don't need to sleep with the frogs one more night. You don't need to be with the frogs one more night. God raised up a man. Mm -hmm. You know, see, because I couldn't do what I do except God is in me. Yeah. And God is with me. Mm -hmm. But God raised up a man named Moses yeah. to deliver Israel from Egypt. Because Israel was in bondage to Egypt. They went in few. They came out millions. But you see, we are in bondage people. We are in a place, uh, in a land that anything goes. Anything goes not here. And when I say not here, not, 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 not in this church. Not in this church body. All right. Anything right. don't go. Right. Anything can't go. Amen. Yeah. I am one person that is obedient yeah. to God. Mm -hmm. And that, what, that is what God is looking for. Yeah, I'm peculiar. Come on now. And some folks call me strange. Mm -hmm. And then the other time they call me mean. Mm -hmm. They got they got all kinds of things for me. They all got all kinds of stuff they call me, but nevertheless, I'm still me. I'm still that woman that God called over 25 years ago. I've been through the storm and through the rain. I ain't through yet. Amen. I'm still going through. Yeah. Because I'm in a battle. Yeah. Yeah. Sure and I have to fight every day. Yeah. It ain't no day that I can rest from fighting the enemy. But I fight every day. Because he's there every day. Moses could have had it all. But he chose to help a brother. God saw the good in Moses' heart. But there was things that God had to work out of Moses. Notice I said work out of Moses. Not only did he have to work them out of Moses, but he had to work some things in Moses. Just like he got to work some things out of you. Let him. Allow him to. And then he's going to work some things in you. Allow him to. We're living in this time that anything goes. We're living in this time that if, 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 if I want to get married to my same sex, I can do it. God said not so. Yeah. He honors marriage. Mm -hmm. And he made it clear between a man and a woman. Yeah. So the simple fact is this. We've gone crazy. Yeah. 
doing what God said not to do. Not obeying what God said to do. Amen. I can do my own thing. God didn't tell you to build no wall. God didn't tell you to do this, that, and the other. But I can do it. Me. No. Moses did what he thought he had to do. But God saw and he began to work on him. He had to work on Moses before he could become the leader that he was. You cannot be a great leader until God works some things out of you. I don't care how you try. Don't care how you pretend. God got to work on you. Yes. Just like you and me. We may possess leadership qualification, but before God places you in a position of authority or leadership, he will work things into your life and out of your life. God just don't say, you do it, you do it, you do it. And he got to work on you. You can't just come up here and get an office and do it well. No, God got to work on you. When you're going to do God's program, God got to be the one that works on you. He got to work things out of you. And then he got to work things in you. You know how you get in there and you kneel that dough? And then when you kneel that dough, you ain't got no lumps in that in that in them biscuits. Come on. Because you done kneeled it and you done kneeled it and you done stirred it all up together and you done kneeled it and when you rolled it out, it ain't got no lumps of flour in there, no lumps of this and lumps of that. You cannot work for God and be full of lumps. All right. God got to get in there and work all that out. So don't come up in here trying to tell me this, that, and other. I know who God is. I know how God works. And you can't know that except you've been with him. You can't know that except you are in him and he's in you. I refuse to spend one more night in Egypt or with the frog. No, I, I, I want to be free now. I want God to do it for me now. I know he's a right now God. And he can do it. I said he can do it. But it's something I got to do. I got to be obedient. God wants you to mature. And he wants you to do it in wisdom and in knowledge. And he wanted to be in his word. Man's wisdom ain't no good. Wisdom that comes from God is. And you won't get no knowledge except you read, study. That brings knowledge. Praise God. Don't listen to what folks say. And, and, got, and you think you got everything you need. Quit listening to man. When I, when I say man, I mean mankind. Listen. God is your source. God is our only source. Ain't nobody else do it like him. Y'all better hear me. As you mature, the word of God teaches us in Luke 12 and 48. For unto whomsoever much is given of him shall be much required. That man, God isn't going out 
is going to cut you as much slack when you change yourself. I'm going to say that again. That means that God isn't going to cut you, you, or you as much slack as he first did. All right. You didn't know no better. Hmm. There was a time that we just didn't know no better. Amen. We was ignorant. But we have set up under the word of God too long to be ignorant. Amen. We have set up under the word of God and heard the word of God and read the word of God and listened to the word of God to be ignorant. Yeah. It ain't no time to be ignorant, but if you want to go to hell, you go ahead. Hey, the only thing I'm trying to tell you and trying to keep you out of fire. Yeah. Fire is hot. Yeah. It is hot. And ain't going to burn. And it's not going to just burn you up. It's going to stick to you like glue. He expects you to lean, to learn, to rely. Somebody say rely. Rely. Upon his word instead of your own senses. Of your seeing. Of your smelling. Of your tasting. Feelings and touching. It's your five senses. He wants you to rely on his word. Because his word is true. He said his word is true. On yesterday I had, had a CD in it. And I had it for a while and I stuck it in there. And it began to talk. It was a teaching CD. And it began to talk about the tabernacle. And how God told him to build and how God told him to make the priestly garment. Mm -hmm. Man, I said, wow. That is something. That And that was such a, 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 a word for me. Even though I knew and just was reading about the priestly garment. I said, wow, but the way she explained it, and this was a woman, by the way. That explained it. She explained everything about the garment. And then they took the oil. See, when he pulled that garment off, he wasn't anointed. Mm -hmm. Because the anointing oil was all over the garment. And it told Moses to pour it on him. The anointing oil. Glory to God. Wow. We got to be anointed. Yeah. 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 Come on, we can't do nothing without the anointed. We must be anointed. Hallelujah, Jesus. Some of you that has been saved for a while are still wearing diapers. Don't you think it's time to come out of the diapers and the pampers? It is. It is so, so, so time. To wear some yeah. pants yeah. so you can pull them down and go to the bathroom and not go on yourself. Come on. It is so time for us to come out of them diapers and come out of them pants. Are you hearing me? See, you see, God had to work on Moses. And when Moses was ready, God sent him back to Egypt. Forty years, forty years, Moses had to be out there in that desert. Moses had to tend, Moses had to tend sheep. Moses had to do this and do that. But then one day, Moses saw a bush that wouldn't burn up. Moses saw something going on out there that it would not burn up. God told him, Moses, Moses. And you know God don't have to speak real loud because you can hear God. Yeah. But you got to be there so you can hear him. Yeah. Pull off your shoes. Ooh. Because this ground that you're standing on is holy. See, God is a holy God. God is a good God. I love holiness. Ain't no sense of pretending. I love holiness. I love to be right with God. 
I love to be in right standing with God. I love it when God said, be ye holy, Ingram. Well, I am holy. In other words, you're telling me to be like you. Yes. I want to be that. Hallelujah, somebody. So, when you are ready, guess what? God will send you out, but not until you're ready. Not until you take out and put in. All right, now. We can say we're ready all we want to. We can stand up here before the preacher and say, I got it right this time. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> Everywhere God, see, even when God thought he was ready, Moses had an excuse. Are y'all here? Yeah. Yeah. We got too many excuses. You say you're ready, but you got too many excuses. Pharaoh had a choice. See, Pharaoh hardened his own heart sometimes. And the God said, hey, it's okay. Then not I'll harm your heart. And then God hardened Pharaoh's heart. See, you, you, you got to look and you got to see. I'm going to tell you something. See, what, some, sometimes you ain't the one that hard your heart against God. God hard your heart to see. God hard your heart. But I do hope that when your heart gets soft enough, it ain't too late. He knew Moses could remove the frog. See, Pharaoh done dealt with Moses before. Pharaoh knew Moses because Moses was raised up in Pharaoh's house, but Moses chose his peoples instead of the riches and the glory of Pharaoh. What are we going to choose, riches or glory? Because it's not always glamorous when you are in God. It's not always good when you are in God. Things don't always go the way you think they ought to go when you're in God. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. He's a mighty good God to know. But we got to understand and take heed to the word of God and what God is saying in his word to us. We got to take the old and bring it to the new. Why, why, why would you want to stay on another night with the frogs? They're everywhere. Listen. They're in the cover. They're in the, in, in the bread trough. We ain't make bread. They're in, in the bed. They're everywhere. Frogs, frogs, frogs. Now, I'm not talking about the other plagues that plague Egypt. I'm just talking about the frogs. I'm just saying, I don't want to stay with frogs another night. Oh, Pharaoh knew Moses. And he knew Moses could remove the frogs because of all the other miracles that he did. As quickly as they appeared. See, God was working with Moses. Wouldn't you like for God to work with you like that? Amen. Have a staff in your hand, throw it down, and become a serpent. Snake, the musician, they throw their staff down. Moses, Moses, staff, eat them up. <laughs> Would you like to uh, have God work with you like that? Amen. I know I would. I would, so I don't have no doubt that when God tells me something, that do it. Yeah. Don't wait around, <clears throat> hang around, procrastinate about it. Do it. But know that you are in God, and God is in you. Amen. Anybody here? Yeah. Yeah. All right. 
as quickly as they appeared, Moses could move them. But you know what? Pharaoh answered, Moses said, tomorrow. When do you want these frogs removed? Pray the man, tomorrow. Tomorrow, I don't want to stay another night with the frogs. Don't you just wonder why Pharaoh wanted to spend one more night with the frogs? I am sure that he was sick and tired of those stinky frogs. I don't like frogs. In fact, I don't like insects, period. I believe they was tormented day and night. They were everywhere you walk, stepping on frogs. Squish. Squish. Oh, God, just to feel that squish up on your feet is, was terrible enough. Get rid of them now, Moses. They was in the bed. They was in their kitchen. Frogs everywhere. You get up to go to the bathroom. They were stepping on frogs. Can't even sit on this toilet. Frogs in the stew. Frogs everywhere. Why would you want to keep frogs another night? In other words, why would you want to stay in sin another night? Why would you want to do things that you can stop doing for one more day? Stop it. Now. God see you. God know you. And God will answer prayer if it's a sincere prayer of repentance. God will answer and he don't take no long time to do it. Are you listening to me? Amen. Hallelujah. Ain't God good? Yes, yes he is. I thank God that I don't want no frog in my bed. Amen. I don't want no frog in my kitchen. And I don't want no frog in my bathroom. No frogs. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All Pharaoh had to do was to say, now. And Moses would have taken care of him. All he had to do was say, a minute day. And Moses would have taken care of those frogs, those stinky frogs, those ugly frogs. I like frog legs now, y'all. But <laughs> not, not the kind that was stepping on the squishing. Praise God, hallelujah. Ain't God good? Amen. Now, immediately, right now, yet when God gave him the choice in verse 9, ah, oh, hallelujah, and Moses said unto Pharaoh, glory over me. When shall I entreat for thee and for thy servants and for thy people? to destroy the frogs from thee in the house, that they may remain in the river only. And he said, in verse 10, tomorrow. And he said, be it according to thy word. That's what Moses told Pharaoh. Uh -huh. That thou mayest know that there is none like unto the Lord our God. Ain't nobody like God. Nobody. Nobody like God. I don't care how many gods there is with them little small G's. There's nobody like the God with the capital G. Nobody. We got all these idols. We got all these little bitty little gods running around here. We worship it. I worship the true and the living God. Are you there? Hallelujah. If you had thousands of frogs in your house, would you keep them around longer than you had to? I don't think so. But wouldn't you want the problem dissolved? 
I should hope so. At that moment, not tomorrow, not the next day, but right now, then why do you put up with problems sent to you by the devil? Maybe somebody can tell me that. Why do you put up with these problems that God didn't send them to you, but the devil did? Yes. Any longer than you need to. We need to learn how to call upon that precious name. Call me, he said, and I will answer. Try me. I'm going to be there. Let me order your steps. Let me give you what you need to live this life. Quit trying to do it on your own. Oh, I love it because you're quiet. Thank you. Yeah. Hallelujah, because I believe that you're listening. Because you don't want another night with the frog. You don't want another night living in sin. You shouldn't want another night because you don't know what tomorrow going to bring. In other words, you don't know what the season is going to grow. We don't know nothing but now. Anybody here? Amen. What we know is now. Yeah. What is it? It's now faith. Now faith. Not tomorrow faith. Now. Not an hour from now faith. Now. But it's right now. Yeah. You don't have to deal with the devil any longer than you need to. Have you decided to spend one more night with frogs? Have you decided that? Or have you decided to let let them let the man or the woman of God destroy them? Get rid of them. Maybe you're looking for a wife. Amen. A husband. A new job. Are a total healing. See, there's things that the church is looking for. <coughs> but we sit back. Don't voice it. Don't open my mouth and think we can do it on our own. You don't want this healing for your mind and for your body. The Holy Spirit Bring things to your mind when you are saved and born again. Talk to him. Because it is a he, you know. Yeah. Let him lead you. Let him guide you. Let him give you what it is that you need because he's not going to give you anything that Jesus wouldn't do it. Wouldn't do. Jesus walked with the disciples. Yeah. He walked with them. He was in person, but the Holy Spirit is not walking in person with you. He is in you. Amen. Moving from the inside to the out. Yes. You can talk to him. You're going through some things at night. God, God said he will comfort you. Yes. When you don't know what to pray and how to pray, he will intercede for you. Oh, it is so important for us to be filled up with the power of God. Hallelujah. Healing. For your mind. See, sometimes we don't just need a body healer. We need a mind healer. Our mind needs to be changed from what, the, what it was thinking. Your thoughts is not God's thoughts. Your ways is not God's ways. We need a change of mind. Hallelujah. The right ear. Put the oil on the right, right ear. Glory to God. You know, and it said to put it on the thumb. The thumb. Touches every finger, yes. everyone. The 
other fingers don't do like the thumb does. Big toe. You got to know how to walk. Glory to God. That one day, I, I'll just take that and, and expound on that because really we need to know about the priestly garment. And if sin in your life, you better have a bell on you. You can't go before God with sin. You can't go before, you can't go into the holy of holiness with sin. If them bells ain't ringing, you they'll drag you out of there. Every piece of garment that Aaron had on, see, it was a priestly garment. That's a good, that's a good teaching there. Hallelujah, somebody. I want my problem dissolved. What about you? Yeah. And at that moment, that's why. Then why do we put up with the problem that the devil put up against us to bring to us every time we turn around? Because he's not, he's not sleeping. He's right there. He's not, he, he's, he's got, and see, he don't come himself, but he sent his little neon. One don't do it, he'll send another one. That one don't do it, he'll send some more until he wear you down. You better hear. I don't want to spend there another night with the frogs. Frogs represent sin. I don't want to spend there another night in sin. Maybe you are looking, and if you are, come on now, you got to look to God. But you have, but you haven't received the answer yet that you asked God. I've been seeking for a husband. God didn't tell you to do that. Why don't you be obedient to the word? Don't go over God. Do what God said. God didn't tell the woman if he, she that found a husband found a good thing. No, he told the man, he that finds a wife. Do you know how to be a wife? No, a wife don't run the street all night long. A wife know how to keep her house clean. And amen. Come on, do you know what, what it means to be a wife? Come on, somebody. Can it be because you put off? The answer for tomorrow. When you want this wife. Oh, tomorrow. <laughs> what about right now? Hallelujah. When God is saying today. God said you can have what you say today. What are you saying? Know what you're saying. Hallelujah, we need to stop. Quit being so fast. Quit being so so eager to say things and do things and have not acknowledged God. Acknowledge God in all your ways. Quit leaning to your own understanding. It ain't good. Hope is good. But it's always in the future. Do you know, I'm not hoping for today, right now. I hope I'll be here tomorrow, but if I don't, I'm well. Amen? Amen. Faith yeah. is now. Yeah. Some people put off receiving an answer to prayer with hope of using faith instead of using faith. Because faith is right now. I thank God for faith. Right now. Don't put off now faith for tomorrow. Hope refuse to spend another night with the frogs. Pharaoh spent one more night with the frogs because of the word of his mouth. Watch how you speak. Watch what you're saying. Know what's coming out 
of your mouth. The tongue is not so good sometimes, you know. If you keep saying it, it doesn't look like I'll ever do anything right. Well, you won't. You're right. You won't do anything right. But when you begin to study the word of God, you will see that Jesus taught, be it unto you uh -huh. according. Say according. according. All right, all right, all right. So Jesus said, be it unto you according to thy words. Yes. And you will find out it really doesn't matter what circumstances say when you give God words not authority not your word but God's word yes. have the final say yes. final authority yes. don't put off today for tomorrow do you have a direct line to the throne of the Almighty. Some of us think we do. Hear me, somebody. All right. Some of us think we got it made. You know, when God rained down on you because you're under the umbrella, you think you got it made. I did that. You ain't did nothing. <laughs> Hallelujah. People are hooked up to the internet and cyberspace, and their tweet is going crazy. <laughs> they tweet, tweet everything. That's not the right connection that you need. Facebook. Put everything on Facebook. Get off of Facebook. I don't, I'm not on it and don't want to be on it and don't want to see on it. John 16 and 23 says, Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, I will give it to you. Don't you let Satan hold you in the known good. Then it take to use the name of Jesus. You know that song said, don't let it ride. Don't let the devil ride. Folks don't say that no more. Folks don't preach that no more because folks are letting him ride every day. Mm -hmm. And if you let him ride, it say he going to want to drive. Mm -hmm. See, he ain't going to just sit there and ride with you. No, he going to take you where you don't want to go. Yeah. I want you to refuse to spend another night with the frog. You have been held in bondage, people. Bondage to sin. And a lot of us being held in bondage think that we're okay and we're not in sin. That we're okay. I'm all right. And you know yourself that you're not. But you have been held in bondage too long. Smoking. Drinking. Overeating. Even lying. Lying won't even tear it in his side. Get rid of those frogs. They ain't nothing but frogs. Get rid of, of those frogs. Don't put it in off until tomorrow. Crucify your flesh. Do it now. Do it today while you're sitting. Do it right now. Speak it out right now. Crucify your flesh. There's power in the name of Jesus. In heaven, on earth, and in hell. See, Satan had it made until he killed our Savior. Then Jesus went down to hell and snatched the keys away from him. He ain't got the keys. Got the keys no more. Huh. He is still the God of this world. But he can't do no more. And God allows him to 
He can't come in unless you open the door for him. I'm talking to the saints. If he cannot bombard his way into you, into your life, unless you open that door. Be careful. Be careful. A little bit of crack. Be careful how you love. Be careful how you run your mouth. Say that now. Be careful, people, so God. Because the enemy is standing back. He ain't got nothing but time. Until Jesus throw him into the bottomless pit. Yeah. Until the angels throw him in there. He ain't got nothing but some time. Y'all hear me? Amen. Praise be to God Almighty. And you ain't got that kind of time. You don't know when your time is up. All right. All right. Don't spend the end of the night in sin. Do you realize what I'm talking about here is sin? Not a literal, literally frog that's going to come in and <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Don't accept the frogs. You know something? In your life had become a way of life. If you know that, get rid of it. Don't even get used to the circumstances sent by Satan because he Every day he's sending something towards you. You get over this hurdle, then there's another. Amen. Jesus said, all things are possible to them that believe. Amen. Don't deny that the problem exists. We know we have a problem. Don't, don't say it, it, it. I know I don't. You know that it exists. Just, don't just deny it's right. Deny it's right to touch you to touch a born again believer. Deny the rights of the enemy. You have nothing in me. You have nothing here. Now it didn't it didn't say that he don't put sickness upon you. He doesn't put this upon you. He touches your finances. He come against things that you think is fine. But learn how to turn it around and talk to Jesus. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He ain't, Satan ain't all of that, but Jesus is. Yeah. Stop thinking that he's all of that because he's not. Jesus is all of that. And some more. As I get ready to close, I thank God. Don't get used to them things that goes around you, that the enemy put upon you, life-seeking, drinking, adultery, violence. Don't sweep it under the rug and think it's here there. Don't do that. Fight the good fight of faith. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to fight it with what? Prayer. And the word. Please don't forget the word. Study the word of God. Read the word of God. Allow the word of God to penetrate your heart. Pray. Ask God to help you. Ask God to do it because we can't. God, you know, if we admit that we're not all we think we are, and we learn how to admit that. Yeah. I'm not there yet. Yeah. But I'm striving, God. Yeah. Help me. Yeah. We got to ask God for help. Yeah. I ask God for help all the time. Yeah. All the time. I ask God, help me sleep. Yeah. Even even though yeah. something like that. See, we, bet we, don't even, we don't even need to do that. Yeah. I ask yeah. God, and not time I wake up and yeah. know. And go to the bathroom and can't go back to sleep. I have to, God, help me to sleep. Help me to do this. Help me to do that. We need help from above. Yeah. I don't go to my sisters and ask them or my brothers and ask them to help me. I ask God, help me, Lord. I need you. I don't want to spend another night with the frogs. 
I want all frogs out of my house. Yeah. I want all frogs. I'm talking about this house. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want nothing in there that's not like you, God. Nothing. Amen. Nothing. Amen. Nothing. Yeah. I want to be pleasing to God. Yeah. Call it what it is. Yeah. Somebody say sin. Sin. Yeah. I'll say it again. Call it what it is. Don't get used to sickness of any type. If the doctor say you're going to have that condition the rest of your life, then you need to shout in the name of Jesus. Today, I receive my healing. I ain't receiving what he said. I'm not receiving what she said. Because you say it, I can have what I say. And I say, in the name of Jesus, I am healed. I am delivered. I am set free. By the power of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, I receive my healing. Don't you stand. Another night with the frogs. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Access Vision, your voice, your community.